Hey everybody, so look on the screen, her face is covered up. I wish they would not protect her. This is Bad Built Betty. Mm-hmm. Bad Built Betty used to work for CPS and she's an employee who was recorded telling a 14-year-old to become a SEX worker. Uh, I'm going to refer to her as a company keeper for money. You know, keep your company for money and something may develop. So, 14 year old girls in CPS custody. Uh, I'm guessing her mother is so overwhelmed. She stated that, that her daughter is 14 years old and uh, has been causing problems. So, therefore, uh, the mother reached out to uh, CPS um, for assistance. And as you may have seen in part A, here's the mom right here. As you may have seen in part A, um, the mother is obviously a single mother of nine children. And I say single mother because they didn't mention anything about a father to say her family or this couple. So they just said she had nine children. So I'm assuming, you know, I can deduce from that, that she's a single mother, nine children, nine children that is a lot to take on i can't imagine how she would cope and now you have this one here she's saying you know pretty much at this point that tells me a parent is kind of i don't want to say given up but they can't handle it again she has nine children and she has to handle this i'm assuming due to her choices on her own looking to get some help get some relief you then have the cps worker as a young girl is asking for uh, something to eat, the CPS worker says this to the young lady. She is actually encouraging prostitution of a 14 year old child. If you're going to be a H-O-E, be a real, really? I'm upset at the fact that she was just fired. Uh, what about child endangerment contributing to the delinquency of a minor? I feel she should be charged. And if you noticed in part A, it said the judge basically admonished CPS for pretty much putting kids in uh, what? A sex worker position. So I'm kind of wanting they may have um, kind of a ring going on. And where's the money going? It's, it's always about the money. Follow the money. Again, in the beginning of the show, on part A, here with this story. Randy listen to this. Yeah, Jonathan. Now, earlier this year, a federal judge uh, scored Child Protective Services for making kids available for prostitution in the CPS system. So making kids available for prostitution in the CPS system. Uh, someone's getting paid is what I think. It's just like that judge. I don't recall if you remember the case. Uh, they had a judge. Kids are coming for the court. Let's say it could be some fighting, you know, someone gets into a fight. Um it could be someone the first time before a judge, and he would immediately go ahead and ship those kids off into this, um, I guess, boot camp. Well, heck, it turns out he was getting thousands of dollars per kid, and they finally got a hold of him. Uh, one boy went there, and I believe his mother said that he ended his life. It wasn't a bad kid. The judge did not care. He was getting paid. It was in his financial interest to send those children there. He was getting paid. After the investigation, we re re revealed that. Later on, I believe he received prison time. So why do I say that? If you have CPS making children available for, this, for sex trafficking, somebody's getting paid. Follow the money. The other thing is, ladies, don't get yourself in over your head. This woman, in my opinion, you've gotten yourself in over your head by the sheer fact alone of having nine children. Where are the daddy? Where's the father? 
or possibly fathers. Nine kids. This is one that's out of hand. What does somebody else act up? I've had someone tell me that they knew uh, in their family, long story short, the kids were put into uh, CPS custody. She was a single mom. I think she had three. And it was a 15-year-old girl uh, who wanted to kind of run around, you know, uh, sneak out the house and do what little naughty teenagers want to go ahead and do. Um, she actually called the school. Woman comes home, and then the people, the CPS people are in the house. They took the kids. Too funny. She said they were gone for two weeks, and she enjoyed the break. She was able to come, she was able to come home like a single woman and work. Get, get, pay her bills, house clean. Doesn't have to worry about taking care of anybody else, just herself. She was single for two weeks. Said she enjoyed it. Keeping the house clean, sleeping late on Saturday, didn't have to worry about any chores, have to worry about cleaning rooms, laundry, cooking any dinners. They have to do all of that. Well, I believe she got the two younger ones back. I think they were boys, at least one of them. The two younger ones back, okay? The teenager, yeah, they ready to send her back. Got a little problem. She ended up pregnant. Yeah. They want to send the teenager now back to her mom. And the girl was pregnant. And I was told that the mom was like, no, you, you all thought you can do a better job than me. Because she wanted to chastise them. And then the little 15-year-old, she's the one that got the party started by calling CPS. You're going to have your way. And the mother was like, I don't want her back here. Because now, out of my care, she's pregnant. I thought you all could do a better job. Oh, now you want to send her back here. She wasn't pregnant when she left there. But now out of her care, the child is pregnant and you want all of a sudden, oh, this is your problem. Three, I can't imagine with nine. And this lady had three kids. I cannot imagine with nine. And now you're supposed to deal with a, t a teenager who's having a child. Or oh, we would have to, yes, uh, you might have to go back to that foster home. I, I, I can't imagine how, how to handle it. And the mother was not happy. She was like, no, you all can go ahead and handle it. They want to send her back home. Now she's pregnant. So this here. Be wary of whom seed, who seed you carry. Let me tell you something. This can even happen in two family homes. We already know that. Nine kids. This can happen to kids in two family homes. I just say... Be aware who seed you carry. And as for those young people, you think you know. You think your parents don't know anything or you think you're grown or so you might be feeling it. You're supposed to go to CPS, Child Protective Services. What kind of protection are, are you given to tell a 14-year-old to become a prostitute? I'm wondering if they're just selling these kids. CPS, Child Protective Services, and a child asks for, for uh, food. And what's the response she received? She... No, 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 no. Wouldn't they remove a child from a parent that told their child to be a prostitute? They should. So, yeah, I think there needs to be a major investigation uh, into, the, into this agency. Follow the money. Somebody's getting paid. This doesn't make any sense. Especially if a judge has to admonish you. So for all the young ladies, um, here in the video, you may think you know. You don't. You really don't. A lot of them have gotten out there and became a prostitute and didn't make it back. Look on the first 40 investigation ID. Some girl... Uh, she went to meet at some doctor's house in a really expensive area. Oh, yeah, near the beach. She called from that house. She died. She was a, she was a prostitute. They didn't care about Big Keisha being a prostitute. So she's at the doctor's house, was a call girl. She ends up dead near his beach house, and guess what? 
the investigation, the guy has been questioned, n- nothing more. He confirmed she was at the house. Next thing you know, he ended up lying and said, oh, she's, no, she wasn't here. She wasn't here. Yes, she was because the phone pinged her. She's a prostitute. And they showed that you call. Why do you think nothing happened? Because Bakisha was a prostitute and she was not valued. And she is dead. And the family hired a private investigator. Still, he wasn't arrested. So some of these young women, they think, oh, nobody know I know. You're going to learn the hard way. That one didn't make it back home. So how dare you this someone sit up here and encourage a 14-year-old to become a prostitute? That person needs to be investigated big time. And not just for the situation here. I hope and pray she doesn't have children. What if she does have children? The depravity and sickness among us. I mean, when I'm hearing that, oh, she no longer works, so that's not enough. There needs to be, be a full-fledged investigation into CPS. As they say, something in the milk isn't white, and somebody, this is not right, we send her home. How many kids she come in contact with? So anyway, let me know what you all think. Just sadness all around. It's like they want to live and feed off the kids. Dustinas are just like their Dusties. They bring drama and trauma. The financial implications. What if that girl? Did, what if that girl didn't do that? Go out there, have another child. Then the child's on a system or thrown away into a foster system. You saw what those two men did. The Dusty Dans in that uh, beautiful home. What they did, abusing those kids sexually and having downloads. Oh my gosh. Don't contribute to the problem. That's why I think that worker, her being sent home, that's not enough. They There needs to be a full investigation, not just of her, that whole system. Anyway, let me know what you all think. For the young girl, hopefully this can kind of put a little shock into her. To listen to your mother. There's nothing for you out there on those streets. It's not. Those streets will eat these kids alive. Anyway, uh, a little longer than I anticipated. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Be aware. Be aware. You know why. It's too much dust out there. And I'm out.